Buying coins and getting banned are not a good combo. If you boys don't want to get banned and want cheap, fast, and reliable coins, hit up my sponsor, AOEAH. Use code Monty at checkout and DM me for the tips to not get banned, boys. What is going on, YouTube? And welcome back to another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video, guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about the fastest way to level up in the zero chill field pass right now we're gonna talk about it man there are some ways that you could honestly speed up and level up very very quickly so we're gonna talk about all of it before we do get into this video man if you guys do need coins hit up my sponsor aoeah boys you don't you don't need to get banned buying coins boys i know a lot of people that's why nobody's really buying coins anymore you don't need to get banned and i'll explain how if you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section below you can dm me separately i do not care i answer everything let me know man let me know because uh, it's valid. But let's get into this video, man. So let's talk about it. Here we go. First thing I want to say is the daily objective. The daily objective is something in Madden where I always tell you guys. This is one thing you got to do. When you get on Madden, purchase a pack, complete a set right away. You don't got to purchase some expensive pack. You can go ahead and get the 2,500 gold pack. Or you can just get a 500 coin gold pack that they give you every day. I don't know. Like, sometimes I just can't buy it because it's not there. Like, I already bought it for some reason. So, I don't know. But purchase a pack and then complete a core gold set or something like that and then you have record 200 offensive yards you can see right here you get 1000 snow and or it's uh, zero chill xp and then another thousand zero chill xp and another thousand zero chill xp once you finish all three you get 5000 and not only that but you get a mutt miss calendar key that you could put into the mutt miss calendar key sets so if you go over to sets there's gonna be a little section for that mutt miss calendar key uh it's like all the way bottom left when you go to program and you put it in to a door and the door unlocks other for you so that's not really like about the zero chill xp but just wanted to throw that in there just for you guys if you guys did not know so daily objective is going to get you seven thousand eight thousand excuse me free xp for the zero chill fee field pass every single day i mean from the looks of the zero chill field pass that's a good amount of xp you're gonna basically get a level up every day if you just do the daily objective so i mean pretty fire right there so now let's talk about the rest of it so as you guys do know the competitive field pass xp actually changed to zero chill xp and i saved my xp for this specific moment so today on stream i'm gonna be grinding mutt champions as you guys can see right here i started a little bit be gonna, gonna be grinding mutt champions on stream man plug to the stream man pull up to the stream probably gonna be streaming around like three o'clock uh eastern time something like that but getting you know your competitive field pass upgrade is gonna get you a lot of field pass or uh, zero chill xp twenty five thousand, another twenty five thousand here it's fifty thousand uh seventy five thousand right there a hundred thousand oh, no not a hundred thousand hundred twenty five thousand right there 150,000 so you're gonna get 150,000 total zero chill xp from the competitive field pass boys if you just didn't have any xp right now this is where it would get you it would get you to level 23 just from finishing the competitive field pass plus i'm just gonna say plus 52,000 because i have 52,000 i would be at level 29 basically or 20 28 if i completed the whole competitive field pass so i mean that's what you guys are seeing right here i mean this is the move i mean the competitive field pass is the move so let's just say I did the whole competitive field pass, right? And I also have this 50,000 XP. And let's just say, like, I've been grinding all these objectives and things like that. I mean, look at this. I mean, completing the solo challenges, boys. The easiest solo challenges ever. 15,000 with these two. We'll just say, we'll just add another 7,500. So, uh, 22,500, boys. Plus this, 24,000, 26,000. Basically, 30, another 30,000 XP just from the solo challenges, boys. So, before you do the competitive field pass, honestly, grinding the solo challenges is the move. The reason I brought the competitive field pass up first is because you genuinely do get a lot of XP. But, honestly, guys, like I said, completing the solo challenges first, I would do just because of how easy the solo challenges are. And you do get a bunch of free rewards, boys, from the field pass early on in the field pass. So, it's not a bad idea just going ahead and getting these solo challenges done, getting your free easy 82 plus your presence you know your coins your things like that so 
definitely would say a good idea is going ahead and getting those solos done very quickly before you get into any games make sure you put a zero chill not a zero chill player honestly guys put nine zero chill players in your lineup they don't have to be starters they can be backups they just got to be in your lineup and like as you guys can see right here it says excluding stocking stuffers which is the 92 overall so put a zero chill player in your lineup boys or nine zero chill players in your lineup, or even three or six depends on how many you want to do uh if I were you, I'd do all of them because five sacks is very, very easy. And uh, you can get knock off the six and the nine very, very quickly with just getting five sacks. You could do that in the solo challenges as well, boys. These do not matter as long as you have the players in your lineup. Does not matter if it's solo battles, solo challenges, or weekend or uh, mutt champs. Does not matter at all. So make sure you put these guys in your lineup. It has to be zero chill players. So make sure it is not stocking stuffers sets this this right here is honestly how i kind of got leveled up so quickly and that is literally just by doing the sets as you guys can see i only need three more to get another 5,000 zero chill xp i'm probably just going to do this one as i go just because it's not really that many but completing the one zero chill set boys and the one stocking stuffer set if you guys complete one stocking stuffer set right now you will literally get a free 12,500 zero chill xp if you have not done this already you probably have just because you know i feel like everyone has been playing zero chill already it is the day after but this is a really good idea right here getting these sets done really really quick easy xp so like i said doing the solo challenges first is the move then i would focus on honestly mutt champs slash solo battles whichever one you want to focus on to get your competitive field pass upgraded so daily objective solo challenges and mutt and um competitive field pass upgrades before all of that, I would make sure you put, or not before the daily objective, but make sure you put those zero chill guys in your lineup to get these stats done. Because not only are you going to get these stats done, but you're going to get upgraded in the competitive field pass. You're going to be getting XP, a bunch of XP from here, and a bunch of XP from the competitive field pass, and, you know, also XP from here. I So, I mean, like, this is literally like triple the xp really quadruple the xp because of the daily objectives as well so grinding mutt champs is going to get you a lot of zero chill xp so honestly guys that's pretty much the best way to level up right now and by the way boys doing those calendar sets is going to get you xp because you actually get a bunch of presents from here so make sure you put do those calendar sets as well make sure you always put that key in the door once you get all your daily objectives done and house rules games house rules games honestly guys for the it, you know it really depends like there's a lot to grind right now and we're but we have the whole weekend to grind it so honestly if i were you guys i would save the house rules for last i feel like it's the least important out of all the other things the soul challenges and the and the mutt champs and the competitive field pass those things are very important the house rules the house rules is only like more important just because of the rewards that they go away on the 22nd the house rules are gone so i mean that's a long time from now we have time for that so make sure you put those guys in your lineup boys make sure you do your daily objectives your solos your, your competitive field pass and that's pretty much it if you guys did enjoy this video man smash the like button hope i helped you guys level up quickly peace out